This video is intended for educational purposes only. We do not promote any illegal activities. Any action taken based on the information in this video are solely at your own risk. Always ensure you have proper authorization before testing systems or networks that do not belong to you. The information in this video should be used responsibly and ethically. So this is the latest uh, variant of port pack, which is uh, Mayhem port pack H4M over here you can see. So there are so many latest features on this port, uh, starting with the power button, of course, the very requested feature. So in previous variants of port pack, we have the button over here, which we have to double tap. And uh, there is a chance if we put this in some bag, uh, it get double tapped automatically and we lose all the power. So over here, we have a separate button now. So we can turn on and off and we can totally cut off the power using this button. So this is very good feature. And over here we have uh, the option for mic and external speaker. So we have speaker over here. And by the way, the build quality is very good. Of course, it's great. Uh, we, we got this with transparent case. Uh, over here we have holes for a speaker. And uh, we have SPI pins, of course, GPIO pins, sorry. Uh, through which we can connect different modules like we do it in uh, uh, Flipper Zero. Uh, so this is the board and I have received this board without HackRF1 and over here at the back side you can notice the names of all the contributors which contributed in Mayhem firmware. So this is the board which I have, uh, this is the port pack which I have received and we are going to install HackRF1 with this uh, port pack, Mayhem port pack in our next video. So first I'm going to show you how you can install Mayhem firmware uh, for the very first time in your HackRF1 board. This is my HackRF1 board. So first we are going to disassemble with this case. Uh, this is my old case. So we are going to disassemble this HackRF1 board and then we are going to install the Mayhem firmware on this board for the very first time using the command line interface. And then we are going to connect this board with our H4M, which is the latest variant. So let's just see how it goes and how we are going to connect this. So we will see all these things in our next video. So let's just see. Thank you.